Potential jurors for the O.J. Simpson case were asked to fill out a 75-page jury questionnaire this week. In the entire state of California, only one person got a perfect score. Chow Ming Wu, who after the trial, plans to attend Caltech. By the way, you can now purchase a bronze statue of the juice for only $3,395. And for an even five grand, you can buy one that Al Cowlings has kissed the ass of. <laughs> O.J. Simpson's new fitness video was released this week, and hitting the shelves next week, Simpson's newest video, Dorf on Stocking. <laughs> The crowd is torn. <laughs> According to retailers, the most popular Halloween mask this year is O.J. Simpson. And the most popular Halloween greeting is, I'll kill you and that guy who's bringing over your glasses, or treat. <laughs> And the Pope came out with a book this week, which contains a series of essays examining faith and morality in today's secular world and the changing role of the Catholic Church as it approaches the 21st century. The book is entitled, God Himself Told Me That O.J. Is Guilty. In other book news, Prince Charles released an autobiography in which he states that he never loved Princess Di and that his father pressured him to marry her. The book is entitled, of course O.J. did it. I mean, come on. In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. That's probably... You don't get worse luck than that. And O.J. announced this week that he's coming out with a new book called I Want to Tell You. And if it's successful, O.J. will work on yet another book entitled From Football to Prison, My 25 Years of Showering with Other Men. <laughs> and finally, in honor of the 50th anniversary of their first publication, Random House will be releasing special commemorative issues of many Dr. Seuss classics. The first to hit the bookshelves will be Green Eggs and Ham and O.J. is Guilty. <laughs> Judge Ito was interviewed this week by a local TV station in Los Angeles, asked by the interviewer if it was appropriate for a supposedly impartial judge to be on TV with his case still pending. Ito said, maybe not, but how appropriate is it to kill your ex-wife? <laughs> It was revealed today that O.J. Simpson told police that Nicole Brown Simpson used to beat him up. He also claimed that she and Ron Goldman killed him. <laughs> O.J. Simpson's lawyers have decided to skip hearings on DNA evidence and go right to trial. Asked why they did this, the lawyers replied, we want to get O.J. acquitted as speedily as possible so he can get back to doing what he does best, killing people. Well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do. <laughs> well, O.J. Simpson's lawyers stopped feuding this week, finally. The dream team, F. Lee Bailey and Robert Shapiro, were able to put aside their differences and express their admiration for each other after O.J. threatened to cut their heads off. <laughs> According to the National Transportation Safety Board, sleepy truckers are responsible for 1,000 deaths a year. In second place, O.J. Simpson at two deaths a year. <laughs> It was revealed this week that defense lawyer Johnny Cochran once abused his first wife. In his defense, Cochran said, Hey, at least I didn't kill her like some people I know. <laughs> 
Tomorrow, Judge Lancito will take O.J. and the jury on a tour of the now famous crime scene. For the jury, it will be their first look at the actual location. Of course, for O.J., it will be just a case of been there, done that. <laughs> Judge Lance Ito was happy with the juror's field trip to the crime scene last week. It went off without a hitch, said Ito. Not one murder. <laughs> O.J.'s pal Al Cowlings now has a 1-900 number. For $2.99 a minute, Cowlings will tell callers that O.J. is innocent. And for $3.99 a minute, he'll try to do it without laughing. <laughs> And this week, Simpson defense lawyers questioned witnesses about a half-melted container of ice cream found at the murder site. The Simpson defense has seized upon the ice cream for two reasons. One, it may help fix the time of the murders. And two, it was the only thing in the murder scene without any of... Lee Bailey said this week that if the defense only knew what Ron Goldman's last words were, they might be able to find the real killer. You know, if you ask me, Goldman's last words were probably, uh, hey, you're O.J. Simpson. <laughs> oh, no, O.J. has struck again. How about that? <laughs> Not a good thing. And in court this week, Cato Kalin testified that O.J. Simpson did not appear angry before or after the period of his wife's murder. But Kalin admitted he could have been a touch edgy while he was actually murdering her. <laughs> Might have been a... <laughs> Hertz rental car company announced this week that it will buy 520,000 vehicles, increasing its worldwide fleet 24%. In addition, they will try to find a new spokesman who won't kill his ex-wife. <laughs> this week at the O.J. Simpson trial, the infamous bloody glove was finally introduced into evidence, and O.J. didn't help his case any by blurting out, There it is, I've been looking all over for that thing. <laughs> and a new shocker in the O.J. Simpson trial. This afternoon, Judge Lance Ito dismissed yet another juror, a 45-year-old African-American male, for failing to tell the court that he had once worked for Hertz Rent-A-Car and that he had once held Nicole Brown Simpson's glasses while O.J. killed her. <laughs> dismissed Simpson juror Jeanette Harris revealed in interviews this week that the jury is torn by dissension and is already divided into two camps, those who think he is guilty and those who are really, really stupid. <laughs> A bad week for the prosecution of the O.J. Simpson trial under intense cross-examination by defense lawyer Barry Sheck, LAPD crime expert Dennis Fung admitted that he may have contaminated the crime scene when he accidentally dropped a big bucket full of O.J.'s DNA. <laughs> Our top story tonight this week in the O.J. Simpson trial. After grisly photos of the murdered Nicole Brown Simpson were shown in court, O.J. turned his head away and wept. It was at that moment that he realized he would never be able to kill her again. <laughs> Well, in a questionable move by the defense team this week, O.J. Simpson demonstrated how to stab two people at the same time. <laughs> Remember 12 Angry Men, the classic courtroom drama? Well, the first film about the O.J. Simpson case is in the works. It's entitled Nine Angry Black People, Two Scared Asians, and a White Guy Who Hasn't Spoken Since Rosa Lopez. <laughs> Testimony during the final week provided some spellbinding moments. In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. <laughs> Well,
Well, the trial of the century is over. Late yesterday, the fate of O.J. Simpson, the most famous murder suspect in United States history, was placed in the hands of the jurors. They must now decide whether to free him or get all their heads cut off. 